First women's match of the day coming your way. There are the loonies on the left, the loggerheads in that green on the right, ready to storm the pitch here. In an area discussion point, certainly I know for you and Ashley talking about it, this pitch is a massive, massive pitch for these players to play on this week. Look, it's almost max regulation size, which in the U.S. is very hard to come by. This is the first time rugby has ever been played at Audi Field. Very exciting for, you know, someone like me who mm -hmm. is a local. And for, for, these, for these players, that means that fitness is even more important. All right, let's take a look at the selections. 12 dress, seven play at a time. We start with the loonies. Anyone you're really specifically watching amongst these? Well, you got to look at captain number six, Spiff Cedric, of course. She is a USA product as well, comes out of Life University. Also keep an eye on number nine, Alex Wantland. She was in the San Jose top seven last week. On the other side, the loggerheads, a lot to pick from with the week they had. Who, who do you like here in that lineup card, those selections? Well, we talked about number seven, Angie Olakumi. Make sure you also look out for number five, Clooney Kivit, who also joined her teammate in the top seven last week. But look, there's just plenty of talent across the board. All right. So the two teams set to go here. Oh, oh no, let's just do it. There's last week's MVP <laughs> yeah, yeah. there. It looks like they want to stay there, I suppose. Angie Olukumi. Well, Sarah, are, are we good to go? Had a birthday this week. She's 22 now. Sure. Can you ask the number four? Average age on the loggerheads is 23 and a half years. Young legs. Pretty much the same on the loony side. You think about all this young talent, but look, rugby has grown so much even in the last five years that you have these college products who have already yeah, gotten experience on the national scene. And then when you're coached by former Eagles, that just really ups the talent on both these sides. Great coaching in this four franchise league. And the Loonies put it into play. Handled on the back line by the Dutch national team member, Plooney Kiwi. Knocked free, Loonies dive on it, and they're able to come away with it. It's a big turnover they force early on. Trying to take down the carrier there was Layla Opetti. Opetti gets her down to the pitch. Work to the near side now. Roy gives it off, trying to split two, and they get to her. Well, Lukumi with a tackle, and now the loggerheads have come away with it inside of their own five meter. Now some speed to the outside. It's a foot race. Trying to take this the distance. Got one in pursuit. Can she outrun her? It'd be a 90 meter run if she takes it back. Cuts inside. Still on her feet. Are you kidding me? Gets into the line. Did she get it down? Yes. It is put down and put away. She may need an oxygen mask after that one. What a run. Roveni, 90 meters. And look, it all started from the loggerheads. Five meter. And Roveni just spots that gap. She backs her speed all the way. She's a USA Eagle. She knows what she can do. And look, you think that most tries just end by streaking down the sideline. She had so much more work to do, being chased down by the leads until the very end. Norston tried so hard to get there. Cedric tried so hard to get there. Roveni just backing herself all the way. That's individual brilliance right there. Highlight so far in my book of this series. Certainly here in DC might be the entire series. So how about this number? 52 to five, Bree, the loggerheads now. So far in the two stops, outscoring the opposition in the first half. That's setting a tone and punching the other team in the mouth. And unlucky there, looks like penalty to the loonies. Thought loggerheads had a great contest on that restart, but loonies look to try and go the other way, try and make another trip back down to the loggerheads half. Taken into touch, and when you do that, the ball is immediately turned over, and that's Olukumi making the play on the defensive side of the ball. You can be on the line, please. Olukumi Step not please. having to do too much work there, but you can Thank see you. her physicality there. She is ready to get going, looking for some tries there. Let's have it, please. Line out here, loggerheads right from the halfway line. Loonies have turned it over twice Wasting to one time. for the loggerheads. On the 15. And Ref Strasmus not playing around, saying the loggerheads spent way too much tri time uh, setting up that line out so the loonies will look to recycle again. In the middle of the pitch, they have it. Good tackle there. 
And it's going to be the loggerheads ball there as it was knocked ahead. And the loonies, the loonies just trying to do a couple of wraparound passes. This is after the second one here. Tries to get that pass out, but well done on the loggerheads, able to get that tackle and, and knock that ball on. You don't see this often Five. in sevens, but a scrum here. Set. See Sophia Purge looking to make the put in. She's got lots of experience, of course, representing the Rhinos Rugby Academy. Loggerheads on top, over the top. Pass off the mark. Angiola Kumi, she's got it in her hands. MVP last week, Purs with it. Angiola Kumi runs over the would-be tackler. She's down about five meters over the halfway line. Purs plays it back. Rivetti into the middle. Great little dummy there on the move. Loggerheads trying to get another one here. And they're going to slow up a bit. Taken down at the 22 is the ball carrier. And a whistle and a penalty that's going never onside. the way of the loggerheads. And you heard the referee there, the call. When Ogan Jimmy maybe thought that she was going <laughs> to run away with that. Please. And they will look to reset one more time as Kivit tried to tap it a little bit behind the mark, not mm. to the ref's liking as she looks to recycle. Short little pass inside. Sendrick was on the ball there. Slowing him up. Fancy footwork, far side of the pitch. Offload over the top, little toss there with the right hand. Tackler. And the referee says not rolling away on that, meaning the Looney's player was in the way of the loggerheads being able to spin that ball. They make about 10 meters there, but this time the Looney's able to get back in a counter yeah. run and turn over that ball. Twice they've done that now. They've been very good in that part of the game. 7 nothing. Under two to play here in half number one. Leave it white. Ball, ball. And the loggerheads oh return the favor right back to the Looney's, able to jackal that ball themselves. Second, and look, please. now they'll just take a second, Scrum right? Open. They don't want to mess this Scrum, up. Please. They're as, you know, as close to the try line as they have been since the last try that was scored. By Rovetti. Might want to run a little set piece here. Time off. Bring him in, please. So substitute coming in It'll for okay, the Looney's. Isabella Gonzalez wearing number two, the 32-year-old making her way onto the pitch. There she goes. Cool. Dahl is a like on, Mexico please. Sevens player. Makes her way into the Coach. U.S. scene here. Find. Set. Give her space, nine. Loggerheads on the restart. Just over 60 seconds remain here in the opening half. 90 meter run by Rovetti. The only try of the match. Conversion, of course, was good. Looney's trying to counter late. Great dummy inside and a great offload the there, cover. but they run out of room. The tackle made by Plutie Kivit there. And another penalty called here on the Looney's. No release there of the ball. Let's it just it, means please. you need to have that support. That second player coming in to follow the tackler needs to be just a little bit faster because you know the defense every time is going to try and challenge. Loggerheads trying to get one here late. Extend it to 12, possibly 14, nothing here. Final 25 seconds of the half. Dangerous play, intercepted instead. A chance here for the Loonies. Can they counter and get points here late in the half? Just a bad play with the ball. They get it out. Looney's knocking on the door. Short side of the pitch to the try zone, and they're going to get it down. So it's 7-5 here. 14 meter run taken back. And the Looney's with a chance here, Bree, to tie it at halftime. I can hear you. Yep. Thank and you. Just a great break there. We'll see the replay. Just a tough pass. And of course, because it went high up in the air, just, uh, just allowed more time for the Loonies to gain that seconds, intercept. Please. And we see Norson dot it down, but really you go back to Alex Wadlin, who saw the two woman advantage, and she just was able to bait that last loggerhead defender before sending her teammate Norston over the line. 
Conversion attempt, no good. So that's a huge five points, Bree, the way that half was played for the Loonies to get. Just some great momentum for the Loonies. They'll be chatting about how they can keep that up heading into this next half. Stay tuned. Second half comes up next. Welcome back to the second half where the loggerheads are up please. seven to five. Of course, Looney's having the momentum entering halftime with that last score. They'll look to field this ball cleanly as they do and take it into contact here. You see Captain Spiff Cedric as the Looney's look. To, it looks like the rock is a little bit messy. And of course, referee Strasmus does not like that. Seven five count. Loggerheads on top. Loonies have been outstanding in the second half. Loggerheads great in the opening half. And it's a two-point affair here. Loggerheads in the green. Loonies Not in forward. the white. Just a scrum. You hear a referee say it's yeah. just a scrum, no penalty. The ball was knocked forward. And we'll see another scrum. And we've seen the loggerheads put it in several times already. They get this ball out cleanly. There's lots of pressure. When you are the scrum half, if you look at the two people behind the scrum, you see Sophia Purrs on the right-hand side. She's got to do a lot of work here off the scrum, make sure she can get that ball cleanly to her three other teammates that are set up in open space who are looking to do something with it. Early. But again, it all starts with the scrum. The ball did not escape. That is a free kick. The referee said the Looney's engaged too early, so instead the loggerheads get a clean restart and they spot some space in behind the Looney's defense. And they kick through on the run, trying to get to it. Kicked ahead on the ball. Getting down there was Jess Lou. Kibi spins it back into the middle. Number one, never on side. Loggerheads with it now. Cutting wide to the outside. This has got a chance to go, and it's going to go. No! Great tackle. Two meters shy. Excellent defensive work by the Loonies there. Leave it. Loonies not only make that play, Bree, but they come away with it. Just amazing stuff there. Los Cicero tried to reach out and maybe see if she could get the extra meter Leave with her in. arms, but was too short. Looney's able to recycle, decides to kick it downfield. An interesting decision, even though there's plenty of space, why not make it work with your team as we see another yeah. kick go ahead and we see the chase here. We got Jess, Lou, and Olakumi. Olakumi fielding the ball now. Very, very fragmented between these two sides as they look to get into some sort of shape. Big hit there on the ball carrier. Sophia Purs was given that pretty hefty shot there. Looney's again, nice work from them, forcing the loggerheads. Good work. A little bit further back in their own territory. Looney's now making a push here. They've got it at the five. They get it free. Nowhere to go, no lanes, no channels, offload, trying to get it outside, they do. To the five and dropped. That's fine. Your contest is good, just a knock on. There you go, it's a knock on and the ball goes over to the logger and you see, they're gonna have to make some subs here. It's hot, it's humid, Wait, it's heavy on seven. that pitch, so they're gonna make some subs with the loonies. Oh, they're Look, Ben, and something unique to well. rugby is when you sprint 100 meters down the field, you turn around, you sprint 100 meters back, and then you have to give it your all on the floor, yeah, fight, yeah. literally location. fighting bodies yeah. to win yeah. that ball back. You are absolutely exhausted. And finally, the loggerheads able to turn that ball over. Now they've got some time to reset. Green, this is six, the perfect, sub. actually the Green, ideal six, opportunity sub. for coaches to send in subs, let their players rest a bit. Cool. But now the loggerheads will want Just to collect to themselves, to see you. what they can make out of this, but really just Crouch. back and forth from both teams. What a close game we have. Great Five. match, 7-5, 340 Super left in it. Nine. Set. From the scrum. Dummy, now the offload, a beautiful play into the open pitch. The loggerheads got about a 10 meter lead on this. Olukumi, she's being tracked down pretty good from behind, but Olukumi will dock this down right between the sticks. That one goes 88 meters. Last week's MVP setting herself up here with a try to make it 12-5. And what 
a fantastic response from the loggerheads. Take a look at Sophia Purrs right here, number nine. She just got tackled. She's the one that really did all that work, setting up Olakumi to score the try. But look, when you're the scrum half, you put that ball into the scrum. You have to recycle around. It's a nice little set play that they ran. Purrs ran it perfectly, just getting the extra woman advantage, then releasing Olakumi into space. Look, Olakumi deserves that try, of course, leading try scorer now heading into this game. But that was all because of her teammate, Sophia Purrs. So the conversion good. It's 14-9 now. I know it happens quick. It's electric. Is time a factor or is it not a factor at this point? Look, Ben, Ten seconds, two minutes seems like very little in any other game, maybe except for basketball the last yeah. few minutes. There is plenty of time. This game can turn around in one play. Here we go. A couple of subs made by the Loonies. Denise Roy into the match now. The Loonies up to the halfway line. That's a high tackle. High tackle. Yeah, Cedric just gets taken down right there. I don't know if the loggerheads are quite 10 there. Mm -hmm. But again. Yeah, number 12. It's two in a row against you. Yellow okay. coming here, Bree. Yeah, never back 10. And it looks like they're trying to figure out who gets the card. But yeah. what happened there? Care when we go. Come on. The referee sure. blew it up initially for the high Come tackle, on, which means the loggerheads had to get back 10. But if you don't show a concerted effort to get back 10 and then you try and go and tackle that person, that's an immediate yellow card. And you can see very frustrated there. That's not how she oh, wanted to spend the, the minutes on the pitch. Thank and you. now the loonies have an extra woman. And look, they're looking to attack. This this means that they are on, uh, that number 12 is on the bench for two minutes. Yep. That's the whole rest of the game here. So the loonies Six. really want to take advantage of this. Play Six, calm and composed because they've got plenty of time to respond. She is in the sin bin for the rest of the match. So the loonies here trying to capitalize on that. They've got the numbers seven on six. They bobble it, mishandle it. And that's going to cost them. Yeah, that's just not good enough at this level here. Look, you've still got plenty of time, even though it's just a minute left, that can be everything. But that's not the way that Looney's wanted to restart that. And so now you turn it around, you're the loggerheads, you know that you're a man or a woman down. You have to think about how you can kill this time because you're up, you know, uh, excuse me, nine points. And that's more than one converted try. So it's okay, you want to kill this time as much as you can. Set. And we'll see what they do here. Space nine. Six turnovers by the loggerheads, five by the loonies here. Late stages of this one, 35 seconds to go. Loggerheads trying to close out while down a player. Scrummage back. You hear the referee say it's coming back, and it will. Just unfortunate there for number 17, Matilda Kochaj. Mm -hmm. She's a late add to this team. Comes out of Babson College from Wellesley, Massachusetts. Play, plays her rugby at New York Rugby Club. Another addition to the squad also is Emily Fulbrook, a hometown native from Fairfax, Virginia. And she, you said 10 of the 96, 10 right? 10 of the 96 yeah. players here today have some sort of connection to this area. That's terrific. Loggerheads have won four scrums to two now for the Loonies. Looney's down here, 14-5, trying to get some points here late. And did they get her into touch? In touch. Yes, they did. So the turnover via that, and the loggerheads close this thing out. And they remain perfect so far, Bree. And that emphatic tackle from Jess Liu really underlined how the logger has performed in that match. A very well-deserved win, of course. Now both teams have to turn it back around for game number two. Yeah. The day is far from over, but the loggerheads proving their dominance so far. Is that you your biggest takeaway well? from this, the, the yeah, way that they well? started and the it? way they finished, or is there something else? I think the loggerheads should be very That's proud with, of cool. their performance. Some individual talent, but also just some good team cohesion. The Loonies should be happy with that. I mean, obviously, that the disappointment at the end and losing the woman, you know, with two, less than two we minutes left. Thank you. Thank you. It's tough. But look, they have plenty of time to reassess going into this next game. All right, 14-5, the loggerheads on the women's side defeat the Loonies. A lot more rugby coming your way from D.C. right after this.